Hello everybody, my name is Dan Otage and welcome to an endurance video. Uh, a video that I'm sure that most of you are clicking on because you are fed up with doing all these raids and having, well, uh, terrible endurance or very low level endurance. I'm, seeing, I'm sure you've seen this from a lot of streamers. If you watch streamers, YouTubers, what have you, maybe you're just seeing it yourself. Your strength is far, far outmatched um, to your endurance. There's a lot of things going on. We're going to talk a little bit about why that is, how that became, how to help you and fix it. Um, but before we do so, there's a lot of people that have been watching our videos lately, which I'm extremely, extremely pleased about and uh, extremely thankful for everybody for checking it out. Um, but there's also a large amount of people that aren't subscribed. So if you haven't done so, please do that. I know it, I'm, I'm throwing out the cringe words here, but please, if you subscribe and you click the bell, you know when we go when we have new videos and you get alerted and you don't miss out on these and hopefully that will help you and your target of experience, especially for wipes to come. This is what I do. I only do about two videos a week, so I won't be spamming your timelines. I won't be spamming your feeds. So hopefully this is enough to get you to click that bell. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're going to go over a few things first. I don't want to confuse anybody and I want to make this extremely simple and short. I won't go into too, many, too much nuance because I'm sure that's not why you clicked on this video. So a couple of things. Let's quickly go over how the skills work in Escape from Tarkov. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already know how these work, but I'm sure there's a lot of things that don't necessarily get covered um, by a lot of different guides. I've seen it. I've seen a couple guides that do cover this very well. Um, I'll try to shout them out in the comments or something like that. But um, the big thing is there's a lot of skill understanding that doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense when you're just looking at it. So first, we'll talk about what the important part is, what we're and what we're talking about in this video mainly, which is endurance and strength. You have two different skills here. The reason for that is because while Nikita wants to talk about realism in his game, it's very important that this game also has a little bit of balance, even though that's not the full point of the game, right? The full point of the game is quite literally just what happens happens, that's Tarkov. And I'm not making that up, that's almost literally what has come out of his mouth. You're not really supposed to have fun in this game, it's not supposed to be fair, Things just happen. The point is that um, there's a little bit of fairness that is put into this play and put into play here. And that's the whole reason I'm making this video because during this wipe, and if you're watching this later, the wipe before, what have you, there was a big change. And hopefully that will change in the future, but we'll see. Not change back to where it was, but change again. Um, the threshold for you going from lightweight, what is considered lightweight, which is a gray weight. Um, down in the bottom left of your character screen to a yellow weight, which is your medium weight, which is the, the weight that spreads out most of your percentage because this is based on the percentage of your max weight, which levels with strength, etc. The threshold has been lowered tremendously, so it is much, 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 much easier to go from lightweight to medium weight. However, as you'll see later, it is possible to stay in lightweight while still being somewhat geared. So... Only one of these skills can be leveled at a time when we're talking about strength and endurance. You level endurance by staying in the lightweight category. You level strength by being in, this, in the medium weight category. Both of these skills are only leveled when sprinting. So as you're leveling one at a time, you have to understand that you can level both at the maximum amount you can, uh, maximum amount that you want to, um, but pay attention to how this works. So how skills work in general is and this is probably something a lot of you know is you the first thing you do in any raid that is pertaining to that skill is the most amount of xp you will get for that skill in that raid so if you're going to level your metabolism which you do by eating and drinking just those you probably that you eat an mre you will get the most amount of xp you possibly can from that raid from eating the MRE. If you eat an MRE again, you will still get XP and you'll still get a good amount, but it won't be nearly as much. You'll, you'll see the indicator of this by seeing arrows that point up or arrows that point down. All that means is if the arrows point up, you're getting above 100% of the XP that you would normally get in some normal situation, whatever Nikita has placed for that. When you're the arrow is down, you're not losing XP, but you're not you're getting under 100%. You'll never really be at 100%. It's just above or below. So, 
if you're trying to level something and you've been in a raid for a while, take a look at that. See if you're actually spending your time wisely, because I know a lot of us just don't have a whole lot of time. So when you're talking about eating, when you're talking about running, when you're talking about um, anything, vitality, one way to level vitality is uh, usually by getting hit and not dying, but you can level vitality and stress resistance by running into barbed wire and stuff like that or falling off of, um, you know, objects and getting hurt but not dying. Those things just happen. Um, something to talk about when it comes to health is health is leveled just by being in a raid, really. Um, every time you level endurance or strength or um, you level your vitality, any of those things, those are go into the health category. There's a couple of these skills like uh, health, um, intellect, charisma, memory. Those are kind of the umbrella skills. Those usually have skills underneath them that when you're leveling the skills underneath them, that's actually leveling that skill. So I, I, and for the most part, you're leveling two skills at once almost all the time. So when you're leveling endurance or you're leveling strength or you're leveling uh, vitality, you're also leveling health. That doesn't come from healing, which is, which is I think something that is a bit of a misconception. And only, I mean, it only makes sense, right? It's, it's literally called health. So um, you get really XP for healing and stuff through like, things like surgery. When you're doing surgery, you get surgery XP, and uh, that helps you there. But for the most part, just being alive and doing stuff in a raid is how you level health. Um, so we'll talk about what it means to level these things because of what I just explained. If you're leveling, whether it's strength or endurance, doesn't matter, run out the first full bar of your endurance bar when you get into a raid. The first thing you do should be that. However, Understand that it doesn't matter how you do it, if you sprint at all, you've thus given up your highest bonus, right? Or you cannot sprint a single time throughout a raid and never level it at all. So, when you, if you take a stutter step or you sprint for a second, you have thus lost the biggest boost. And then it goes down in increments. It does, I don't think it goes down per how much you upgrade it, it just goes down in increments. If you, if you stutter step like three or four times, you've thus downgraded it four times, three or four times. So no matter how you have it, run out your full bar and call it good. And make sure you're moving at the same time. Like I said, you can't do it in place. So how this works is um, if you're under geared or you're geared at right at the threshold and you run, you'll level your endurance. The moment you pick something up or the moment you go back and pick up your gear and you're at medium and medium weight, and then you run out your full bar again, you have thus maxed out, or you haven't maxed out, but you've gotten the most XP you can from one motion or one movement. So that is going to give you a little bit of a bonus. I know, that's the boring stuff. That's just how that works. Okay, one thing I'll say about skills before moving on. This is not a skills video. I'm not going to go about it go about everything. But one thing I'll say about leveling skills is if you look at the categories of weapons, not like the mastering, the mastering something completely different, but if you look at the skills, you'll see a couple different things. Um, you will see a decrease in reload speed, weapon switching speed, weapon recoil, and, and an increase in weapon ergonomics. Those things will happen as you level those categories. Um, one thing to realize, and somebody will probably correct me if I'm wrong, um, when it says reduces weapon recoil, that is specifically horizontal recoil. That is how you handle your weapon. That does not change how you handle the vertical recoil of each weapon. The vertical recoil, don't even really worry about that. I would say the only way to help your recoil and vertical recoil is by modding out your weapon. There's not really a whole a bunch amount of skills that are going to help you there. That's specifically put in by design to help with the balance of the game. As we've seen in the past couple of wipes, or maybe you haven't, um, the recoil of pretty much every ammo type has changed dramatically. So skills have nothing to do with that. We may see that in the future. That may change. Who knows? But when you see weapon recoil reduction based on these skills, it, just remember that it's horizontal recoil. Okay, now let's quickly talk about what, it, what, what are some strategies to help with this. As I've talked about before, you can toss all your gear. I kind of mentioned it. I'll, I'll talk about it here. You can toss all your gear at the beginning of a, of a raid and just run like maybe two stamina bars to get enough to make the raid worth it. Um, two full stamina bars and it's wasting time, but it will help in level your endurance. And then go pick up all your gear again 
and then start running around and doing stuff, you'll level both endurance and strength. If you're alive for the full amount of a raid, you're probably going to level a little bit more strength than you will endurance, but you won't sit in the situation like we all are, which is, I mean, a lot of us were at least, where you have like level 30 or 25 in a strength, but you have level 6 endurance, which is why I hope that they fix it. Um, I know Nikita wants to get to a position where gear, wearing heavy high tier gear and heavy giant weapons is actually discouraged because it's harder to handle. Like really you don't always go in with giant weapons, giant Ash 12s or SA 58s or what have you. So he's trying to discourage that. I don't know if this is necessarily the version he's trying to come out with to discourage that, but it is something to pay attention to. Um, so that is part of this strategy. Now, with that being said, you have to make sure that you're not totally under geared all the time because you don't want to be losing entire kits and you don't want to be failing quests and all this stuff just to level your endurance. That's just going to make people upset. And this is my argument as to why it needs to change. But there's a couple of things to recognize. You could do those two options, or you can do your very best to get to the closest point of the threshold from going from lightweight to medium weight as you can. Ragman starts off at level one with pretty much nothing. It's very, very trash. Um, there's a couple of things like the level two armors, like the Paka and the 6B2, which are decent armors as far as the fact that they cover your thorax and your stomach, which is very important. Um, do your best to always have stomach protection because shotguns from scavs or whoever with just normal buckshot will one shot you if they hit all pellets on top of your stomach. You don't want that. You can run around with some of those. You can run around with the 6B5, which is tier three armored rig. It's not quite the diaper rig as we'll talk about in a second, but those, those three different armors are light enough to where you can have armor helmet ears a gun and a few mags and a little bit of health items um, i'll show you my screen here real quick what we have going on is a little bit more than that um, we have a 6b23 which is a tier 3 armor very you're going to get a similar similar stats from if you were to buy that rig that rig is pretty trash i don't like using that rig um, but it, it works um, that you can get from ragman one as you can see i've also have a couple pieces of gear in here um, like, and some mags, helmet, etc. And I'm still underweight. I'm still under the medium weight. So you can run some of these things and still be there. The moment I add something like sugar, um, we are over the threshold. So it actually will, this, we can survive with this. This is a, this is a kit that will work. I even got a grenade and, and some more extra ammo and stuff like this. Don't, don't judge me for my stash and whatnot. This is a level four standard account that we're using for one of our challenge runs that you'll see here on YouTube very soon, if it's not out already. Um, but the point is that you can run a pretty okay kit um, without having to worry about leveling your strength only and or dropping your gear and what have you. Again, this is maybe for possibly the beginning of a wipe. But, I mean, if it were me... Uh, I would run this right now in a wipe, frankly. If I'm looking to level my endurance, and specifically my endurance, I would run something like this. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if I'm running like customs or something, and I'm running into chads, they're going to penetrate tier 5 armor anyway, right? Like a gazelle that I would normally wear. Getting to tier 4 is a little bit trickier. So you'll see like the diaper rig, what we have, and a couple other different rigs that are very heavy. So the diaper rig in general is like... Uh, it's, it's like nine point something kilograms. It's, it's way too heavy to be trying to do this, especially at a low level. Um, so wearing something like that could just not be worth it. You can wear that anyway. Tier four in general, if you're dealing with this at late in the wipe and you have way more strength than you do endurance, you might be able to get away with some tier fours, but this is obviously for this, this type of conversation. So running at that threshold and then being able to just pick something up and go is one way to do it. One other situation that is extremely expensive, and if you want to do that now while while everything is kind of slow and you can probably afford it, get some like SJ6s or SJ1s, or uh, if you want, you can run something like an L1, which, uh, let me explain how those stims work. SJ6, well, I'll say SJ1 is a endurance stimulator. So 
it will temporarily level your endurance to a much higher rate to where you're not you're not losing your stamina very quickly you're actually losing it rather slowly the sj1 is pretty short it, it only lasted like a minute or so the sj6 is the beefed up version of that both of these are relatively inexpensive at a mid wipe situation where most people have enough money to kind of just burn through it if you're running at the beginning of a wipe, SJ1s are somewhat common to find from what I've seen um, through just playing. So running those are okay. You might want to sell them if you want to. But I personally think that if you're going to have uh, stims, might as well use them, right? So you can use them and that will give you more endurance, which will level you up faster. You still have to obey the weight rules because it doesn't change your weight. However... If you run one of those along with an L1, which an L1 um, increases the maximum amount of weight that you can carry um, just in total. That L1 is very short, but it's essentially a, a tiny, the smaller version of a mule, which I'm sure most people understand what a mule is, which is extends your maximum amount, amount of weight gain tremendously. Because most of, the, most of these things are, are, based on st are based on percentages, right? So if you level out your maximum further out, it will give you a much lower threshold because of the percentage, right? I know it's a bunch of mumble jumbo, but if you use those in, in combination with each other, either an SJ1 or an SJ6, along with an L1 or a mule, mules are very expensive, I don't recommend using that, um, you will be able to run both a medium, like slight, like a normal kit, while also being able to level your endurance. And then as soon as that runs out, they don't last very long, so use them immediately, or start running immediately after you use them. But you will, as soon as that's out, you will start leveling strength. So you can kind of hit both categories in a very, very quick, simple, beginning of a raid type situation. It's expensive, but it'll work. And if you're doing it now, or medium, right in the middle of a wipe, it's... It's, it's usable. It's totally viable. Okay, I'm not going to talk your guys' ear off forever. I could talk about skills all day. I probably rambled in this video way too much. But that's a very specific and very simple way to explain how a few skills work in this game. And hopefully that gives you a little bit of knowledge more into how to level your endurance. Because I know that's a big problem for everybody. If it didn't help you at all because you already knew all this information and I'm not giving you any special tricks or anything because I'll tell you right now, there aren't really any. Um, you can try and figure out some stuff, but for the most part, this has been made this way on purpose. So find some gear that is semi-lightweight, but also uh, still going to protect you or just run cheap stuff that helps you just a little bit and you're not breaking the bank. And hopefully... You'll be able to level both your strength and endurance in the same pace, and you won't have to deal with such a lopsided version of it. Hopefully, again, this changes in the future so that it's a little bit higher, but right now, this is what we have to deal with. So, again, my name is Dan Otage. Thank you all so much for watching, and please, again, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. With that, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully this helped. Goodbye, everybody. See ya!